GoPro, start recording. GoPro, start recording. GoPro, I'm gonna kick your ass. Start recording. There you go. Good girl. Right, man. If you really wanna know how to shoot fashion photography, you came to the right place. I have been in this business for 20 years, man. And I know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna take you step by step on how to make a fashion editorial. First and most important thing, the clothes. I was assigned to shoot for a brand called La Riviera. I went to see the clothes and straight away I noticed that it could easily get wrinkled. Let's say that you are planning to shoot a fashion editorial. If you are serious about becoming a fashion photographer, and showing your book to magazines and publishers and whatever, you have to make sure that the pictures that you have in your book are trendy and fashionable. If you don't have a book, what you have to do is Google Paris or Milan collection 2018 and see what the trend is like for the next year. You might find some kind of clothes that you or the model or a friend, oh, then in what? You just borrow it. And uh, once you have the clothes together, then you're ready for the next step, which is creating the story. Forget about lighting, forget about equipment. What makes a fashion editorial attractive is the story, man. Listen to me, if you wanna make a good story, you have to know what's going on in the world today, right? If you don't know what's going on in the world today, you cannot make a story. What's a movie that everyone is talking about today? Just go and make a fashion editorial based on the story of that movie. Watch the news. See what's going on in every single corner of the world. But what if you make an editorial based on terrorism? What if you get a super sexy, hot, chili pepper kind of girl? having her body checked by the police as if like she was a terrorist you know what i mean she's wearing all these fashionable clothes and stuff heels and boom but she's a terrorist and the police is after her and they body check her hey that could make a great editorial couldn't it you know or you can go after music man music is pretty cool too like there are some songs out there that can be inspiring once i shot these these pictures right and uh, this girl was wearing nothing but red dresses and I called the editorial Little Red Corvette. You know what I mean? Just like the Prince song. Right, let's go back to the shooting I was talking about, the shooting with La Riviera. As I said, the clothes could easily get wrinkled. You don't really want wrinkles in a fashion editorial, do you? So I picture that she's going to be standing there, just like a doll. And uh, I had to come out with some kind of doll idea. What is related to doll? So let's do a little brainstorming here. Doll is like a mannequin, robot. Then something striked my mind, man. There was a big boom. It's like... What's the movie that everyone is talking about right now? Blade Runner, right? And uh, what is the movie about? Replicants, right? So, Replicant is a doll, right? It's a money king, right? It's a robot, right? Boom, man, that's it. I got the story. Replicant. Right, man. The next step is the model. Oh. <laughs> right, so if you have no experience at all, I mean, we shoot in fashion editorial, just call a friend, you know what I mean? Like you might have a cute or cool friend out there who can pretty much model for you. Once you shoot this friend over and over and over again with a specific story that you already set, then you're going to show those pictures to a model agency. You know what I mean? Then you get there and say, hey man, 
Can I shoot your models just like that, just like these pictures I shot with my friend? You know what I mean? There's plenty of models in the model agencies who are in need of new pictures. Some are new faces and they, they really do need pictures and some are others who just need to update their, their book. So just shoot a frame to start with, get a book together, then start working on better models. Also, you can try Model Mayhem. I think they, they, their website is, is all over the world, isn't it? Like they have in Japan, Brazil, Italy, Spain, they have models all over the world, man. I, I'm sure you can find another model there as well. So just go after them, show your pictures, and uh, as I said, there's plenty of girls and guys out there who are in need of pictures. So just go there. You have nothing to lose. Maybe you find a good one. But one thing is very important, man. Do not charge them. Do it for free. You are in need of pictures, right? So they are. So just do it for free and do it nice and everyone's gonna be happy. And they probably will introduce you to some friends who are models as well. And then your network of models is gonna increase. And then you're gonna get better and better and better. And eventually you're gonna be able to charge you to do it. You know what I mean? So eventually you're gonna get a really cool book together and the models are gonna be dying to shoot with you. Then it's time to charge. But if you're starting now, forget it. Do it for free and you're gonna be all right. All right, man, the next step is directing the model. Some models are pretty good models. You just give them a hint and they straight away they get what you want and start modeling or acting right the way you want. Like you picture you told her, man, I want you to behave like a doll. And she goes in, boom, you don't have to say nothing. But there are some other models out there who don't move at all. You know what I mean? They are pretty much like cloth hungers. They just stand there and just wait for you to tell them what you want them to do. And then what? What if you don't know what to tell them? Then you are in big problem, right? So the point is, you have to know how to pose. Go to different websites like the ones I mentioned before, or photographers, or even professional model websites. Go through their pictures, find some pictures that you really like. I mean, the poses that you really like, you know what I mean? What do you do? You click and save those pictures to your playlist, to your album, to whatever you like. After saving this picture, what I did, I saw the picture, I went in front of the mirror, and I did the very same pose myself, over and over and over again. Until I totally understand how the hell the pose was done. Right where the hand has to be, right where the feet have to be, you know what I mean? Like every single detail of that pose you have to learn. So if you learn, man, what is gonna happen? You can teach, right? So if you don't tell the model how to do it, she's not gonna understand what you want. So you have to learn how to do it yourself so you can teach. Got it? Right. Let's go to the next step, the look. Go to Google and type hair makeup trendy 2018. You might find something that's gonna suit your image very well. Ask the girl, I mean the model, if she can do something similar to that. If she cannot do it herself, maybe you can find a hair makeup artist uh, at modelmayhem.com. In my case here, I told the hair makeup artist to make my model look like the replica. She had a black long hair and didn't look at all like the picture here. So the hair makeup artist, he got a a wig, and the wig did just a great job, man. It looks pretty much a replicant to me. Let's go to the next step, location. I live in Tokyo, man. What a better place to shoot a Blade Runner style kind of fashion editorial. But we had a problem. We had too many clothes. I mean, quite a few clothes. So shoot on location was not an option. Then I had to find a Blade Runner style kind of place. On Google, I found this one. It looks like an old building for me, doesn't it? Like a kind of warehouse, old building, something like that. And I knew a house studio just like that. Bingo! 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 Right. Let's go to the next and last step. How to shoot. Right, man. Here we are. For the opening page, I like to introduce the viewer to where my subject is. 
So I want to show the whole location. Like you can see windows, the floor, like you can pretty much picture like where she is. I saw the other cuts. I look for a specific spots of the place, like a wall or the stairs, windows, and points where I can kind of show some perspective. When I shoot full body, I like to shoot with a wide angle, anywhere between 28 and 35 millimeters. I like to shoot slightly from, from below. It will make the model legs look a bit longer and the model herself, herself a bit taller. Take a look at these features. They were all taken from below. Looks like she has pretty long legs, doesn't she? Yeah, cool. I shoot a lot with my 28-70mm zoom lens. When I'm shooting full body and I see that the model is looking cool, it's looking beautiful, I can quickly move close to her and shoot a headshot without having to change lens. Check this out. I'm shooting here from below, then I notice she looks cool, then I boom, get closer to her and shoot a nice headshot and cool. Then same story here, like I'm shooting here from below again, with a 35, like as I said before, anywhere between 28 and 35 mil. Then I notice she looks cool. Then boom, I get closer to her, change my, my, my zoom lens, get a little bit closer. In this case, I might be around 70 mil, something like that. And then I don't have to change lenses very quickly. So zoom is pretty cool. Right, I always leave some room above the model's head and below her feet. Later on, on post-production, I can crop the picture by the way I like. Always cropping very close to her feet and sometimes chopping the top of the head off. You know what I mean? With a big, nice and sharp Japanese sword. That's gone, man. No more top of the head. <laughs> and yeah, man, this is it. My Blade Runner's replicant fashion editorial story. I wish I had a a machine blowing smoke behind the model to get a bit of more of that Blade Runner feeling to the pictures, but the client didn't really like my idea. Uh, it's okay, they were very pleased with the final result, and so was I. Now you can watch the clip which was being played at the beginning of this video. <laughs>
Now, just before I introduce you to the next tutorial video, I need to ask you a favor, man. Would you please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe? Would you also hit like, like, like? And uh, why not drop me a comment? Let me know what you thought about this video. Did you like it? You didn't like it? Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. I made this video for you, man. This is the preview of the next video I'm gonna upload on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe, yeah? Thanks for watching and uh, be cool. GoPro, switch off.